What's up, beautiful world? I am Joe, here with the most beautiful Nicole. Hey, guys. And we're Scout Logic, and today we want to talk about a subtle P, a subtle pigmentation uh, testimonial review, right? Yes, and of course, yes. we're going to zoom into the details so you mm -hmm. can see the impressions. And uh, just to remind everybody out there, there's other, S, uh, other S and P testimonial videos and reviews. And if you can't see up close in detail, what are we doing? It here? doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. It, it's what does the consumer see? Nicole, talk to him. I mean, you're seeing, you're not seeing held results, right? You're not seeing zoomed in, and that's really what we're looking for. What you're living with it for a couple weeks, a couple months, that doesn't count. We want to know what you're living with it two years, three years down the road. We want you guys to know what it looks like, right? The truth. Okay. So, okay, let's run through this gentleman's situation, yes. and thank you so much for this guy. For um, we've had a, a flurry of guys who aren't so uh, giving us consent to go on the internet, which we totally get. So, yes. kudos to this guy for sharing. <laughs> Uh, so his situation was, I'll let you clean it up, Nicole, but um, we're in August, late August 2022 as we record yes. this. Um, he just came for his third and hopefully final session. Yes. Uh, so he had two of his first sessions mm -hmm. in April yes. of 2022. Yep. Uh, he was pretty satisfied for a while. I think we'll put some pictures up. He it knew was... that he was going to need a third session, but it was oh, okay. for travel reasons. He was like, okay, I'm going to wait for a little bit. And then, you know, that's completely feasible for you guys to do as well. We get a lot of guys coming across he what he drive across the country or flew across the country but he, drove quite he a made a little trip to come get it so it made sense for him um again it was a little too light for probably most people's liking but we want you guys to see what it yeah. does look like in that situation and of course it's custom so everyone's going to look a little bit different but um he had good skin god he am I had amazing now? skin i mean that was the thing is like he really took care of the aftercare he really did everything that he was supposed to do because you know like i always tell our clients you know you we're working on you but what you do at home is obviously affecting the treatment and the healing process um, but I really want to say something about the subtle pigmentation version. So a lot of people are so worried that this is not going to look natural, right? That's their always biggest fear. And then have you noticed it always changes. Once guys come in, once they've had a session or two, then they realize how quickly can I get this on? Yes. <laughs> so I think it's yes. so important to highlight. I, uh, maybe you can help me out. I might butcher uh, just to kind of loosely say there was a comment we had on YouTube recently and we've heard this a lot, yes. you know, uh, I, I, what if it looks like I'm just starting to lose my hair, like I'm just thinning? Like yes. I don't even want to be fully with a full head of hair. Yes. I just want to look like it's it hasn't fully gone yet, yes. right? And to your point, right? A lot of those guys they come in saying that once they see how soft and yes. subtle and real it looks, they're like, "Give me the whole thing, give it." <laughs> in most cases, they're like, "Let's go a little yes. bit heavier now." Absolutely. Exactly. Once you understand, because it's scary getting. But I feel like it's the baby yeah. steps, right? It's like the surest way, and I mean. This is the truth is like, you know, you can search anywhere on the internet, but once you have a first session and they've gone already too deep or the hairline is just extremely established, you can't take that back. There's no way to change your mind. And the way that we do it is such a builder process that no errors can ever be made. I think that's just so important to highlight. Yeah, I, I, again, that's what I was, it's, it's such a scary endeavor, right? Yes. We do this every day, but yeah. for a guy, we have a guy coming in a few minutes uh, out of state, he's flying, right, for his first session. Yeah. Um, and we definitely respect that, right? It's uh, it's a big deal. So, yes. yeah, exactly. No discrepancies. Well, let's let's go ahead and, and look into this. So Absolutely. let's start with the. Uh, can, can we look at the before picture? Yeah. This is so. This is the one that he absolutely okay. took at home. So you can see so from his house, right? He took that. What would mm -hmm. you say about a typical Norwood? Uh, I don't know, five or six. I would say about a five or six. Yeah. That definitely lost the right. frame. He's losing yes. the temple areas, losing the sides. Yeah, clear. And then the horseshoe, the dreaded yes. baloney patch that we all <laughs> hate to look at. Right, so he definitely had the horseshoe pattern coming in there. And this gentleman is somebody that always wore a hat. No matter what, didn't mm -hmm. matter the event, didn't matter what he was, what was happening, there was always a hat on his head. And I think that was the biggest thing is he just wanted the option to wear a hat if he chose to, not because he felt that he needed to. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Make the hat an accessory instead of a necessity. Because exactly. I was that guy where it was almost like a hairpiece, I'd wear the hat. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at, um, so we did two sessions in April yes. of 2022, mm -hmm. and this is after one or two of those sessions, these pictures right here? Yes, so this is, when he came in, this was completely after, completely healed, this after is months one healed. full session. This is, at, this one's is after two sessions. Oh, after two full sessions. Yes, after okay. two full sessions. And as you can see, and Joe really like, you know, kind of said this yesterday, it's definitely too light, but it's 100% there. You can see it. And the client's perspective on this was this is amazing like i feel so much more confident yes i do feel it needs to be a little bit darker but i feel so comfortable in the process that we did it 
and that was super yeah insightful. i i love that i love that topic because we yeah. were just talking about this before this video and um maybe this is too dramatic but the word i'm using is like are guys getting greedy that have snp that are getting snp yeah. when and i'm talking about the guys i know this is a preference thing and our preference of like really light and natural isn't everyone's preference exactly totally understand that but in my opinion as an artist the compromise and it's a fine line if you want you know to grow your hair out longer or you want like a full look yeah. or like a one clip or if you want to fade yes. i just saw a picture on reddit uh yes. the guy that had a zero fade. i mean the picture was from 40 feet away yeah. it was um eight months healed is what it said and the guy had clearly had darker s p up here yeah. and then the sides had a zero and a, guy, a lot of guys love that look and that's what i'm trying to say is that maybe it's a little bit greedy if you fully understand yeah. because the compromise is it's going to look like ink blobs yes. up close and I would say a lot right of there. a lot of times, like you know, we understand like hair loss hits so hard. I mean, it hits, and you feel like desperate to have anything on your scalp, so it can <laughs> almost say to the world, yeah. "I'm not a bald dude. I haven't lost my hair. I'm, you know, I'm still young. I'm still youthful. I still feel all of these things." But I, I think it's like you're towing that line where it's like you know, but people are going to be able to tell that you've lost your hair. They're going to be able to tell that something looks suspicious. I would say mm -hmm. something looks off. That's it. That's it. So let's keep looking at, at this, this guy's uh, situation. So this is uh, at two after it healed. And, and he even said he had to really grind his hair down to get it low, okay, to get a good match. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then this was uh, after the session yesterday. This was after the session yesterday. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. So if you want to zoom in and kind of look at all that stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. See, I mean, we just keep on this. I just want to take a look. <laughs> we got a video We're like going, staring. and We're I'm like, still oh like, oh, let me just take a good look up there. I mean, the blending, yeah. that's what I want to point out. What's yeah. the difference between what we do and what everyone else does? We talk a big game. We say, hey, look, we take two or three hours longer than a lot of other artists out there charging about the same price, right? Why, why do we keep flexing? Why do we keep saying this? Yeah. And to me, the proof is in the details. The proof yes. is in the visual. It's yes. in the picture. Yes. But you can see on the sides, on the temples, yeah. We don't just stop where the hair loss stops and meets, right? Yeah. We have to blend into the hair. Into the native and hair. So check this out. Like a typical horseshoe pattern can take a typical artist, what, four hours to do, let's say, on an average head if there is an average. Okay. Okay? And then if you want to do some blending in addition, blending takes that takes another hour, hour and a half in addition to doing yes. that, right? Yes. So what I'm trying, I'm just trying to communicate to And you. the blending on the back too, where the horseshoe is, it's not like you yeah, just you have to go under the horseshoe. right here. You're blending everywhere right. so that if anybody looks at you from any angle, it looks completely complete. It looks amazing. It looks flawless. It's not just like, oh, it looks good up here, but oh, there's a line. Oh, okay. Right. It's like off. Right. So we, um, again, kudos to this guy. Uh, appreciate you, you know, letting us show pictures to the public, to the internet. Uh, but yeah. we will follow up in about a month or two, as we're always saying, yeah. because yeah. this isn't a true uh, example of what we just did to this guy. We want to show you what it looks like healed, right? Yes. So yes, 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 continue yes. to that. Look forward to that. Anything else you want to add before? No, I, I would literally just say more than anything. It's like, I feel this process with us, and I said this earlier, is just the surest way to guarantee that you won't have any type of mistakes. So even if you did one session and for whatever reason you decided, I don't like it, I just kind of want to stop, you still have that freedom. You still have that ability to do it at that point. And I just think that's, I mean, that really does give you all the freedom. You have every decision. I mean, that's it. Again, we just want to put the truth out there. Yes. Um, the art is getting better across the world. Yes, it is. And again, I emphasize, look at the healed impressions the up blending, close. Can you zoom hairline. in on these pictures and, and see the actual individual impressions? Because if you can't, uh, there's definitely better standards out there. So, Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.